Hello, fellow Afghans. Greetings. This is Bachub Online TV. Fellow Afghans, I'm here to share my thought to you how we young Africans can build our mother continent, Africa. And what is so painful, the young Chinese come to Africa and go back rich when they came poor. The Europeans came poor and go back rich. But Africa, we are still lamenting uh, crying in the dam of poverty. Why? Let us change our thinking capacity. Let us change our mind. We have slavery in our mind. We think everything must be done by Europeans, by Chinese. Why? Let me give one of the, our examples what we have done, and this will make you awaken. Uh, last year, we have started our project, Pachuba project, where we have started to keep uh, chicken or birds. We say, we young Africans, we are lamenting for too long, we are crying for too long, but we didn't take the decision. The time to cry, the time to talk is over. Let us go in the field and do something. What we have done, we find the piece of land, we uh, we, we collect our small money that we have, we go to find the, uh, the, the piece of land, we got it, then we started building or built our uh, shelter where someone who will keep these birds and animals will live. After that, we find uh, uh, the birds or the chickens. We find almost 100 chickens. After that, after four months since last year, uh, because we started uh, in September last year, up to, up to date is almost four months, but today we are starting to see the impact or to see the results of what we are doing. Now we don't need to go in the supermarket or somewhere to buy, the, uh, to buy chickens, we don't, we don't need or we, 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 we can't go to find eggs. And what is so painful that even these chickens that we found in our supermarket, we found in our places, these broilers, are not coming from Africa, many of them. Many of them are coming outside of our continent. We say, okay, we have already solved this problem. Now we cannot use a lot of money to get uh, chicken meat, we cannot use a lot of money or use any money to buy uh, eggs because we have our own leg. Our chicken know how to lay leg instead of finding these legs from outside of the continent. Okay, after that we discover that these chickens or birds produce manure. So how can we use this manure? We say, okay, these birds need food. And the main uh, food for this bed are uh, maize, product of maize. So we say, or we, we say, okay, let us go and dig. We use our power. We don't have enough fund to find detectors and other equipment for agriculture. We say we have power. Let us use power. Maybe later on, when we got uh, a lot of money from this product, we'll go and buy those detectors. Uh, and other uh, agriculture equipment. We use this lock and hole to dig and find uh, and cultivate our, our, our maize as the food for our, our, our chickens and animals. After that, also we discover that we can create the garden for vegetable and uh, fruits. We have doing that. If you find it or you go to our YouTube, our Chubo Online TV, you will find all this. We keep it. Every step we do, we show you, young Africans and Africans in general, how we Africans, we can create wealth within when we are here in Africa. Because Chinese go or come in Africa and go back rich when they came poor, the same to European, the same to American, but we Africans, especially young people, we are looking for to be hired by Chinese, to be hired by Americans, to be hired by Europeans. Why? 
Now it's the time for China to be hired by Africans. And what is so painful, we hired within our land. You can't find the, the, the Africans hired Chinese in China. You can't find. But you find the Chinese hired Africans in Africa. We are used as a labor here in Africa. We have everything. So after that, we say, okay, let us create the garden. We need to eat our organic food instead of this inorganic, which is very contaminated by fertilizer and so on. But this is an example. This is a small, according to our knowledge, small knowledge that we have. That's why we do this. I'm sure if young Africa, in terms of those who are maybe in engineering, if you come and find and look the environment and find the solution, I'm sure Africa will move forward. And you who will do that, you will become rich. We have seen our brothers in Sierra Leone who create this uh, messenger, superb, superb Africa. This is what we need, not only him. There are so many young Africans who can innovate, but we need to collaborate with them. We need to work together as Africans so as we can move forward. Now Africans, we are, we are in the continental food trade area. Just ask yourself, what do you have to offer in this continental food trade area? Oh, you are just watching. If, you, if we didn't use this Content of faith trade here. There's no use. It is the same as we don't have. So if we have this opportunity to trade among ourselves, we must have a product. We must have something to trade with others, uh, 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 other Africans, because this is an opportunity for us Africans to trade within ourselves. But if we can't produce, if we don't have something to produce, we cannot benefit from this. Continent of it it will become just a paper like other papers. And always people say the dream without uh, vision and without action is just a dream. So we don't need to be like that. We need this generation to change these narratives, to change our ways of living as Africans, to think about next generation, what we've done for the next generation. What you have been inspiring for other generation, so that's what we we need to uh, to do. And I understand that Africa is an opportunity. Through this video, fellow Africans, we have seen that you can do small thing, but you can get a big result in Africa. Africa is still empty. People who are in the medicine, who are in doctors please discover these trees that you find here in Africa is just a medicine go and find do the research this time of COVID we are waiting American to find a vaccine for us Chinese to sell, to sell vaccine for us Russians and other civilization to sell vaccine for us why in Africa we have this medicine everywhere this tree is, is the medicine but you can't use it because we don't know how to use it and we didn't decide to use it we are so poor in the richest continent we are standing on the richest place but we are still poor who, who is going to be blamed why we blame politicians just remember politicians are coming from our community. Today you blame someone is a politician, but tomorrow you become a politician. What will you do? So this tendency of lamenting and saying politician are doing this and this and this, I think this is not good for now. What we need is to take the action. Everyone to play his part. Because the generation of politician is coming in and out. Who is lamenting today will become a politician tomorrow, will become maybe an officer. 
tomorrow. Do you continue to take loan from China? Why do you have everything? You have opportunities. I know maybe someone will say the, the word, uh, word uh, politics forces us to do this and this, but there's some things that we can, we can do. Do we need food from outside? Do we need chicken, egg, and so on from outside? Do we need everything to import? What our engineers are doing? Everything is we are importing machines and so on. What our engineer, engineers are doing? What our doctors are doing? Let us give them the chance to innovate for Africa. So, fellow Afghans, let us end it here. Uh, I have decided to share my experience with you how we can make great Africa. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share our video. Thank you.